Welcome. You are now in the house with Lady Red. My name is Tiana Warren, and I wear many hats. You want to learn a baby scratch? Um, what do you want to do, though? You want to do pancakes and bacon? I want to do bacon on the griddle. Did you already make, you didn't even make coffee already, did you? No, I can, though. I'm a mom, I'm a DJ, I'm a podcast host, and a restaurant server. Dustin is my husband, my amazing partner. With both of us being creative, we definitely had to look at like, okay, how are we gonna actually take this gig economy and make it work so that we have some stability inside of our family? The thing about gigs is like, Just, you don't get paid right, right that was away. The other thing. You do a gig and then you get paid a month and a half later. Exactly. You know, whether it's like, missing their first steps or their first words. That was one of the things that I was fearful of in going back to work. <laughs> it's super important that we really set ourselves up for success, building a foundation for our kids. And that's why I reached out to Kamiko. Good morning, good morning. So today I have a lot of excitement. My name is Kamiko Love and I am the owner and creator of TheBudgetMom.com. The Budget Mom was literally born out of my complete failure and frustration with money management. What I really wanted to talk to you about is just how to maximize my streams of revenue such that in the next like five to eight years, my husband and I can buy our first home. We have to look at how do we set this huge goal that we have in a realistic and attainable way. With that being said though, we shouldn't give up so many of the things that bring us happiness because we have the excuse of, oh, I don't have time for that. Eight, nine. Financially, discipline just wasn't there. But I'm very disciplined when it comes to things like working out and just like physical regimens. When I put my mind towards something, like I'm just so on it. The big one for both my husband and myself is student loans. We're talking 30,000. How do I tackle that? So that's a great question. My philosophy is life is too short for so much of it to go to struggle and sacrifice. So I would list out all of your student loans, literally every single one, the interest rate associated with each one, the minimum payment associated to each one. Tackle them by paying off the highest interest rate debt first. It's going to save you the most money in interest payments over the life of your debt. You know what, Kamiko? I'm feeling really good about this. I'm really excited to start saving on this house and start paying off <laughs> these student loans. So thank you so much. You are so welcome. And you know what? You can have it all. Go, go, baby. Go, go, go. Wesley, go, baby. Even though I'm not in the realm of finance, you can take structure and apply it to whatever you're doing in your life. I'm grateful because now I'm in a position where I can have financial conversations without tearing up or getting frustrated or like just being uncomfortable. I can do this. I can go back to work for three days a week and not only feel comfortable financially, but create a path for my future such that it's not such a dream, but really like a journey.